Hey, welcome back. This news file is your most authoritative news analysis show. And let's uh, share with you a couple of your messages that came on our, on our messages console quickly before we move to Kiliwili and Toffees. Musa Abatoy and Kumasi says that I see nothing wrong with the 10 regional chairman endorsing JM. The fact, they say they didn't endorse him. The fact is that JM is the most popular person in the NDC. We, the grassroots of the party, are calling him to lead the party to victory in 2020 and are in support of the chairman and their action. Well, Spio Gabriel reminds you that uh, Prof Mills was very popular. He came in the last minute and he came second in the contest. So fair play ground is what is needed. Uh, Bedi Akon in Faraday says that, uh, in Kumasi says that NDC, quote, a united party, unquote, goes especially uh, for a unity walk, only to, quote, disunite, unquote, its constituents. Isn't it ironic? The common denominator of the irony is JM. <laughs> Kwesi Akufu in Subing in Kumasi says that if the former president knew it was not right for him to declare his intentions whether or not to contest the 2020 elections when the regional chairman called on him he could have told them at that meeting and stopped them from issuing any statements supporting him jb in insawam says the ndc much talk about unity work appears to be a symbolic affair with what they practice <laughs> They appear to be eating their cake and still dwell in the dream world that they can still have it. Nevertheless, the 10 regional chairmen can impose Mahama on NDC members, not on Ghanaians. I rest my case. Bonti Benjamin from Achim Ebuakwa says the NDC regional chairman should keep on digging a grave for the party for another uh, gargantuan defeat in 2020. Emmanuel says... What is happening in the NDC is nothing but only a storm in a teacup. We are so clear. What happened to the NPP in the run-up to the 2016 elections where very, senior, where very senior officers of the party were suspended and yet went ahead to win the elections? The NDC is not near a tsunami. Believe, uh, believe it or not. Uh, NDC will emerge stronger. Right. Okay. So that's uh, Kweku and um, Kujopon's prayer that you are able to manage what is going on. Well, now, as you are aware, um, we have heard from the lands minister, Peter Amewu, say that state lands in the NDC regime or era were being sold like Kele Willy. Nobody's business. And you've had a reply appears to have been couched properly for him, purposefully, to fit what he said as a reply from the former lands minister, um, Inunza Fuseni, who is here with us, say that in the NPP era, they sold the state lands like toffees. Now, what exactly is happening? There's a list that has emerged, a very long list of state um, politicians and a couple other persons who are not politicians who have also been named in there to have received those lands. And you know the argument has been on for quite a while now about how much those lands are actually even giving to these people. Um, at a price, you ask <laughs> what exactly is happening. A village land may not, you know, may cost lot, a lot more than lands in those prime areas. So, um, Let's hear what uh, the current minister said and a couple of reactions he received in that regard and then come to start with Inus Afseni. Suppose you receive um, a report uh, from the land uh, commission. We put a team together to investigate some uh, allocations of land that were done in 2013 till now. If you look at the period between 2013 to today, the number of lands that was dished out from government lands that was dished out of this country was given out like Kele I mean, no man's business, <laughs> you know. And so we put a committee together to look into that. The committee is here to present uh, those reports. 
Okay. After him, Innocent of Sini is here. He replied. Hear his reply. When I came into office, I inherited a long list of uh, people who had uh, processed their lands and uh, their documents that were waiting for land allocation. Uh, but because of the indiscipline in the sector, I sought the permission of the President, His Excellency John Draman and Mahama, to place a ban on the on land uh, allocation in the in the uh, uh, within the, the state lands. And uh, within the time that I was at the Ministry of uh, Rules, I mean Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, uh, we took cases. I mean those whose applications had matured and were waiting for allocations, we took them case by case. I remember. It was when I was about leaving the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources that I, I because I was almost frontus official, I was going off, that I lifted the ban. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, all allocations that happened within the, uh, the time that I was in office, between 2013 and 2014, were pending allocations that, uh, that uh, I came to meet in office. Largely... So you did not... So, so, you, so you did not approve them? No, largely brought about as a result of the, uh, you know, uh, in 2007 to 2008, the International Student Hostel was taken over and allocated to individuals and, and corporate institutions. And now, this list of 400, over 416 persons, uh, particularly government officials, former government officials, in public institutions and so on that were allocated those lands uh, between 2009 and 2016 um, is now a subject of investigation or review by a committee set up by the current government uh, as announced by uh, the lands minister. And all of these were revealed on the back of a documentary done by uh, Joy News's um, Joint News is done, is done a, a documentary, and in that documentary, he's talking about land guards and how they are taking over and brutalizing people and so on and so forth. And the minister revealed all of these at the place. Now, the list contains names including former President Rawlings, former President Kufo. It also actually mentioned the former CJ, Georgina Wood. It mentioned the uh, uh, Chenry Hesse, he mentioned also, um, is it a CEDU, uh, former, um, uh, this uh, bank, who now went to ADB and I think he left again. And all of these persons I have mentioned have come forward to deny. They are unaware, former President Rawlings says he was not giving any such. There were an, uh, attempts to assist him do for his official purposes. That is not even completed. Um, former President Kufour has a similar story. And then um, Georgina Wood, her ladyship, says that, look, <laughs> there's no such thing. It's never happened. She's not been giving anything. And then, she uh, even yeah, she didn't apply for and nothing was even given to her. And in actress is volunteers that she will be ready to assist the committee in its work. All the others have come to deny. And uh, the, the Hesis actually are praying that if there is any such land, they should be shown where it is so that tomorrow Sunday they'll go to, court, they'll go to church and praise God for something that's been added to them. Let's hear Frank Ejekum, who speaks for former President Kufo. We, we don't know under what circumstances his name came to be associated with this list because it's not as if the former president went out to expropriate land from any person or from anybody. What has happened is that as part of his retirement benefits, under the Chinri Hesse um, conditions, um, President Kufour was supposed to have been resettled with um, a, residential, a residential accommodation as well as an office accommodation. The piece of land in question is a plot that has been shown to him as where the government was going to put up the building for his residential accommodation. So that's all there is to, there is to it. He didn't go out to um, look for any land, or he didn't go out to ask for land. All the government has done was to give him, show him a piece of land that they are going to put on his um, residential accommodation 
as per the children's health recommendations. The way the news came out, it would appear as if he had gone out to look for land or to expropriate land from somebody, maybe even through illegal means. Right. So now we can hear from you, uh, Ms. Hosseini, uh, start with you about what exactly is going on. Why do, what do you think must have prompted the committee that is being set up? And you have said something that people find rather scandalous, that mm -hmm. you say you sought the permission of the former president and you placed a ban mm -hmm. on the allocations. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when you were about to exit, mm -hmm. then you lifted the ban and decided to give their lands out as uh, Kele Wele. Um, and I was trying no, to refer to, land, I'll, our, I'll you, 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 approve, you gave the <laughs> approvals. Oh. Uh, uh, and I was referring to Latif Idris, docu uh, Latif Idris documentary that he has done, which is titled Land Wars, revealing how terribly people are being killed over lands in Accra. Yes. I, I think that whoever thinks that what I said was scandalous has not understood what I said, clearly. I mean, if, if you are living in an office and you lift a ban, how can you then be given out the land? And I said I was fantasy official. I had no capacity again to do anything in the office. So, so how can it be? The wife lifted. No, no, but so if, if you say so, probably that's somebody's interpretation. But if you say so clearly, it means that you have not understood. Why leave the ban? That's the question. So, if, why leave the ban? I didn't even leave the wholesale ban. <coughs> I didn't even lift the wholesale ban. I lifted the ban in respect of Boitima lands. I lifted the ban in respect of Tamale uh, Kalada Barak's land. I lifted the ban in respect of uh, 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 this one, the Western region around the airports. And they were specific. I told you earlier, they, we were dealing with the land on a case by case basis. So, no, whoever, and, and I wasn't the one who gave out lands after lifting the ban. No, well, I didn't even approve of giving. But well, but the no. major thing is that so, so Ghanaians, no, whoever, whoever it was, Ghanaians, they Ghanaians are scandalized, they are not scandalized to, at all. Hear, no, no. to hear that the NDC engaged in giving out state lands. Because in your campaign, before you came into office, we remember very well how you used to put out the list of people who had acquired lands or given lands to themselves. You put Kufour's name, people's, many people. Some people had Kufour's to go name. to court. Some people had to go to court. In NDC and at a point, the Kufour's NDC, name. led by Samuel Lokuje Toa Blackwa and Omane Buama, yes. went to court yes. to say that Jacob Bichabi Lante cannot have his land. So Thompson, how, how did this happen? Thompson, we never published Kufour's name as having land during the time of the NDC. We couldn't have done that because Kufour was not given land. Well, CJA, I remember, they published it many times. CJA is not Minister of uh, uh, Lands and Natural Resources. Mm. No, I'm talking about when you're in opposition before you <laughs> came to government. Oh, it was political. Mm. Now, you see, let me start by saying, and uh, that's mm. a good question. Right. <coughs> For what purpose did MO say that between 2013, and now I'm hearing him say 2013, but subsequent reports have shown that he's talking about between 2009 and 2016. But here, clearly, he's talking about 2013. Then you ask, for what purpose did he put out that statement? Was he, was he in furtherance of an objective to clean up what he perceived as a mess at the Lands Commission? Yes. Good. So, and that mess was limited to, is it 2013, 2016? <laughs> is that what, what, what? Well, you, you know were what you, you holding people you know what you politicians do. You, were, you, is it, were you going to hold people accountable for activities within the land commission uh, uh, for the period between 2009 and 2016? Was it a, an attempt to vilify mm. uh, people who had op occupied that office and the institutions that had been put in place within that period? Was it part of the political propaganda to paint NDC as a party that had no good intentions for this country in respect of the management of land. I thought the good thing that, the, the right thing that you ought to have done, you put up to 416 names. Now, that is from 2000, uh, 2009 to 2016. Now, you, you, I think that you would have been fairer and justice would have required equity to have put out the list of land that was allocated between 2001 and 2008 and then go back and put out the list between 2000, I mean 1992 or 93 and, nine, and 2000. So that Ghanaians will know exactly which government dish out land like in his West, Kiliwili, <laughs> or like in my West, Toffee. You see, but this purely partisan uh, consideration of what happened at the Lands Commission without more is what clearly is my worry.
Why now, the emphasis on the Lands Commission? Are you trying to shift blame? No, 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 not shifting blame. I didn't hear it from uh, 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 Dr. Animo Dami. I didn't hear Dr. Animo Dami say that. I heard Amu say that. And I heard Amu say that it was not the Land Commission that dish out land like Kelly William between 2013 and 2000. It was the NDC. I heard him clearly. And so <laughs> you wonder. My, why qu my question is why the emphasis on the Lands Commission? State lands are vested in the president. So what's the, what's what, the thing? But they are managed by, you know the law, you know the constitution. They are managed for on behalf of the, uh, the, uh, the president by the Lands Commission. Lands Commission. That is that they have the sole prerogative over the lands. So you can, you can, I mean, the, the president, the land commission, the, 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 the land, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources only exercises policy supervision over the lands commission. They have no direct connection with the management of, the, of state lands. It's vested in the lands commission. And so now, <laughs> if a, a constitu and the lands commission is a constitutional creation. That's right. Yes. But, but so, explain so, to so, us so, why, why so, this at all. Why? What, what is the process? What is it? It was a deliberate, <coughs> malicious. No, no. I'm asking about. Attempt no, no. Forget about what uh, Mr. Amehu says. We need, fine, fine. we need education. What is this thing about? You know, sharing lands, as it were. No, nobody shares land. Mm. Nobody ever shares land in this country. How do they these lands get to be given they, to people? They apply. They people apply. apply. They have many procedures. People apply. Even there was sharing, it was during the time of before. So as I sit here, I can apply that I want, apply. I want a land, government <coughs> land somewhere I've there. I've seen government land. I've conducted my searches. The land is unencumbered, and I want to apply. This is the purpose for which I want to put the land. It will be assessed on the merits of the application. But at the Lands Commission. And then you'll be asked to pay for it. You'll be, it will be valued. Mm. It will be valued not as, as, I mean, as an ongoing market rate, but according to the, how the lands are sold, the land use. used in the area. And then you'll be invited. From what you have seen so far in your office and the values that are put to these lands? They don't, the, the, the Ghana government doesn't go out I'm into the market to sell land. I'm talking about places where land, no, land, a about, land can be sold, no. a plot of land can be sold for as much as $2 Samson, million. Dollars, no, Samson, let's understand. Okay, where the state gives it for 80,000 Ghana cities or less. Samson, let's understand. What, what goes thing. into that? I need to understand. Let's understand one thing. That, yes, the dichotomy between the market values of land and the values placed on land by the Lands Commission has given rise to the abuse within the land administration system. Everybody identifies that. That is how people are able to manipulate, take land. You write a beautiful concept, application, submit to lands commission, is assessed on this fact, on this merit. You are allocated the land, and then you offload it. Is that why you place a ban on it? Because you're saying the values and all of those things that go on are wrong? There was what I, I thought that there was no rational basis for allocating land to people at the rate at which we were, being, we were allocating them. And that we needed to know exactly what was happening. And that's what I did. But let me come down. You didn't you see, solve the problem. You, you just lifted the ban and went ahead and. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't lift the ban. I lifted the ban in respect of three places. That's my reference. Yes, mm. in respect of three places. Yeah, no, it's very, very important. And that is why I'm still challenging Amu. And ah, you say you set up a committee to investigate what happened, and you have already reached a conclusion. You think that the committee will come to a different conclusion from what you have said? No, but you yourself, you are aware that the lands were sold like toughest. Well, I'm saying that during the time of Kufo. Why? You are here. And during your time, you right say here. the values, the values placed on it, the were such that, they were such that so it forced you to, to, to place a ban on it. Yes, not even before my, even before my time. Yeah, so if he makes the comment he made, there's nothing prejudicial about it's that. It's very factual. prejudicial. Very, very. I mean, as a lawyer, you know that's prejudicial. And all of us, apart from Abu Koko, Malik Koko Bako, who is a street lawyer, He's a lawyer. All, of, all of us know exactly what I mean by prejudicial. That when you set up a committee, a ministerial committee, and predetermine the outcome, you don't expect the committee to come to a different conclusion. That's what I'm saying. And that it's is prejudi not, this is, prejudicial this is not that when I, um, um, sorry. When, when you say, sorry, Roxon, Roxon, mm. 
you, you are you're a lawyer, you've dealt in land transactions for your clients and so on, that some of the areas that are mentioned, that you hear that land is sold there for or allocated to, you know, a former politician or, you know, a politician or whoever it is, and it's going for 10000 or less, or how, how, does it, how does it come across to you that if you make a judgment on that, you are being prejudicial? When you know that commercially, if you are dealing for a client for some of those lands, they pay in millions sometimes. <coughs> yes, I think the, the, the prejudice that my senior speaks of is of the fact that the manner of allocation from the slant of his speech or his address to the media, it appears as if it is only NDC that indulges in that. That is the prejudice he speaks of. When indeed you are saying that, having assumed this office, I have set up a committee to look into how the allocations are done. That's why I am not describing them as sale. They are allocations. Yeah. In fact, there are some of the institutions that do not pay for. Mm. Like, for instance, the office of the former president, it is part of the ice gratia. So they are allocated. There is no valuable consideration. In fact, if we don't do that, we would have been varying their, their conditions. No, no, there's, to their, there's actually no valuable consideration, but there's no sufficient Good. consideration. OK, OK, I'm guided. You, you understand? Yeah. So it is only in situations where individuals <coughs> apply. And I want to speak to the ownership types. We have state lands, mm -hmm. we have school lands, we have um, family lands, right. and individuals or corporates. But increasingly, <coughs> we are seeing that in the urban milieu, in the urban space, it is state lands that are left unencumbered or unoccupied, even though the lands exist in the name of the state. So, as a private citizen, I had also been, been, uh, been having difficulty with how some of these allocations are done. But having, having become a public official, I realized that it is indeed easy. So it is about knowledge and information. So like you just said, you can just apply to Lands Commission. After you have identified an empty space, on un unencumbered, you conduct a search, a search you can only conduct a search after you have and done a When you use the term unencumbered, what do you mean? It is not attached from... Okay. from you it's see free. That it's, it's available. Mm. It's unoccupied, like a uh, football space. It's available football. without any problems. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Then you would have asked your surveyor to map out the place for you. Then you put a, a cover letter to the Lands Commission to determine who is the owner. When they do that and you realize that it is for the state, you can actually apply. And Sam, what is happening is that there are a lot of the areas. I grew up in Ima Mamubi, you know, a lot of the areas. You look at the land, you think this is a rundown place. Somebody who has a vision, who has a foresight, who acquires such a land, it gets allocated to him, he develops the place and the kind of modern structures they can put up. That is, that is why we, we say land use. It is the use of the land that determines its value. It is the land use that determines its value. So when the person regenerates the land and brings it to a certain type of use, the value will shoot up. It is not by accident of history why we say lands around airport, airport residential area, cantonments, Laboni, and all the places we know mm -hmm. have high value because they have been put to a certain type of purpose <coughs> that have ha high commercial you know, values. So somebody uh, identifies an area, an open space in cantonment. He does his due diligence. He applies. And at the time that the allocation process will be carried out, the value will be in respect of that, the adjoining land use. So it will not be as high as the two millions you speak of. But cleverly, he acquires the land and develops. That's why we always, your lawyers, we use the term develops. Puts, it, puts the land to a high value use. Then he will parcel it out at such a high value. Then we think that the state has been shortchanged. 
So what the state should be doing is to be developing the land and allocating it to commercial entities or private entities at such high value. Well, let, me, let, me, let me go back to Honorable Nusa. Yeah, good. Now, you know, good. now I you. want us to help us to understand, because you have been in this ministry, I have actually help us been, to I was understand. actually a TA in land law at the yeah. University of Thank uh, you. Ghana. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, so help us to understand. <laughs> yes. Um, on what basis would one's application be considered? Mm. And from what we, the list we have, mm. they are being given out in acres, not mm. in plots, mm. not in small, small plots. No, it depends on yeah. the, exactly what you, the want to put the yeah. what you want to put the land use, I mean, to, the use to which you want to put the land. And the availability. Uh, and the availability. You want to set up an orphanage, for instance, because you've seen that the streets of Accra are occupied <coughs> by orphans. You are in collaboration with other people, and you think that you should offer that public service to put the orphans to good use, to give them opportunity in life. You apply for land, lying and being at Buitima. You bring the concept that, look, I want land. I think that I should develop an orphanage. These are the number of people who are roaming the streets of Accra with their parents. Average. They are social liability. We, need, we have a responsibility to take care of them. They will assess it and give you the land. How much do you think you should pay for the land? So if I say I want so it let for, me go for back. a private let commercial me go, shop, please, you won't give me. Let's not argue. You uh, see, we are, argue, we are here to talk about mm. land administration. And I'm I, seeking education. You are yes. giving us one. I'm asking <laughs> yes, you. Yes, I'm asking you the conditions. I'm telling you that the some, conditions you know, under exception. which you will you will assess my uh, application and give me a plot come, of come land. Come and see me. as a lawyer. I will, I will, and I'm, we are I'm educating the public. I'm in opposition, so I can take take consultation. And then give you I have I have Kwame Jan's fat books, all of them. Yes, I have Kwame Justice Danny say Danny say Jay's <laughs> books. I have all of Kwame them. Kwame has been always been a guy. But let me tell you, mm. we're talking about land. It's a very difficult subject. First of all, let me take you even back to Achampo's era. Got to go to era. You know, uh, airport residential area. It was part. It's part of, it was Ghana Export Extension. It was public land. Now, if you go and read Kumado's uh, a paper, Robin Peter to, to pay, pay Paul, Paul. Yeah. where did it? You see clearly the abuses in the land administration system. And if it's they gone, a port it's extension. A, you understand? Now, today, we, I, I brought you to airport, right, I mean, the International Students Hostel. Mm -hmm. You remember that case? When the Internet, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs got bent, we had said that even with the way Minister of Foreign Affairs was, was bad. We decided to relocate. The, the place that everybody was looking to uh, 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 as a, a, a fitting place was where Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs is now. But when International Students Hostel was brought down, the land was not, was, its use was changed. It was parceled out. That is where Georgina Wood's name comes up. That is where Nana Adodanko Akufuadu, the president, president, was given a location and he rejected it. That is where. How come some of those names are there and the individuals are, are not aware? They never applied. Georgina Wood said, I never that applied. That is why I said they were giving them their like toffee. They didn't apply. They never applied. But they just allocated them lands. Now, some took it actually paid for them. Then in 2009, the policy was reversed. What happened? They were invited to come for their money. Some refused and went to court. Katie Hammond, my good brother, was among them. He was to be replaced at Boetema. He said no. The court said Boetema's land is not of equal value with the land at a uh, uh, international student hostel. hostel. He was, the land commission was directed to replace the land with land of equal value. Oslo also acquired Ghana airport properties. When they were not giving her the land item, she yes, she sued. She sued. You see, I'm saying that you need to do a comprehensive study and not mm. let us continue along 
But, but people want you see, to do it's, that. it's not about suing that's the question. No, uh, before, the thing is that the thing is that first of all, I'm interested in how you get to give them out. Oh, when wait. when you complain, they you don't think they ought to be giving out for these purposes, and if you have giving them out following all the legal processes completed, mm. and the person pays for it, mm. and then you say you have reversed it. They have every right to go to court. Exactly. And so, when they go to court, the court will vindicate their that's rights. That's why I said that probably a people does, does not understand the process very well. The fact that you have a list of names in 2013 does not mean the allocations were made in 2013. Okay, just hold on. So, uh, me, now, so now hold on for me. Okay. Now I'm bringing you, you in. See, yes, Sam. For me, for me, it's not about mm. you know the legalities of the process. I don't think that that's what the real issue out there is. It's about the morality of it's the process. It's about the morality of the process. No, uh, the morality is at the fringes no. of yeah, the law. No, no. Go out there and ask. I'm not. No, I'm not talking. Morality is at the fringes of the law. And I'm happy you are a lawyer. It's not about the morality. Is there? It's about what? the skewness. May I see? <laughs> this is what they are telling you. Uh, in some. Morality of the of the of the process took uh, a black eye and on money to the Supreme Court. They didn't win. Okay, the law got uh, Jacob Bechebe to win his case. But that is the point I'm making. That it is not. <laughs> you see, the concern that people have out there mm. is not about the uh, um, 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 the law. Okay. So when I find us how lawful are the ways? Allow him. Allow him to di to discuss his morality. When questions. I find us <laughs> yeah. as politicians, especially going around the you know the legalities yeah. on a matter that in the hearts and in the minds of people out there is not legal. Correct. I think we are missing the point. Yeah. What is the issue at stake here currently? Yeah. We have accusations and counter accusations. Please, legal. please let, let let's hear him. Let's so hear him. Probably you let's hear him. That. You should hear some of what some of the people, the gun people, are saying. That you come and as government Senior. you have a right to take their land. Senior. So you come and you acquire it compulsorily, the, the and the then you don't use it for the purpose for which you acquired it. Then you are selling it among Senior. yourself, you like toffee. To me. Okay. I'm saying that the issue out there, mm. in the hearts and in the minds of people, is not about the legality of these transactions. Right. Mm. It's more about the morality or the appropriateness. And of they the have the support of Justice Atuk. That is ahead. how I <laughs> see this whole conversation. Yeah. And if I may develop my idea. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> today, the accusations and counter accusations. Yes. The Honorable Inusa Fuseni says that during the MPP tenor, lands were being distributed like toffee. The current minister says that he has seen data that suggests that lands were being given out like Kelewili during their tenor. Some of the persons who have been mentioned are denying. Some are giving explanations. At the end of the day, we have cases where people from both sides have gone to court. Like you rightly cited, my brother Blackwa and uh, my senior from school, Dr. Mani Baba, went to court. They lost. they lost. Because legally, you can explain these things, that this is a program. Somebody saw the use. He wanted to build an orphanage. They filed form 32C, da, 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 and they got it legally. And the court will even order for them. Right. But the real concern people have out there is that these are lands that you appropriated to the state under the guise of utilizing them for some particular purposes. Years afterwards, you don't appear to have used them for that purpose. And now you have a new policy and a new program that is reallocating this land. But it appears that the people who are benefiting are the political elite. Correct. And people therefore feel that their lands are being taken from them. Yeah. The response, in my view, is not a legal response. Mm -hmm. That they have the right and they, because indeed legally they do. But for me, I think the political class, we are the ones who have to talk to us. Is <coughs> very often we are always accused of, you know, uh, uh, coming in to take from the poor to benefit ourselves and not everybody else. And I'm happy that my my, my, my senior, the Honourable Inusa Fusini, cited the example of the current president, President Akufuado, who, though this process was legal some years back and had an allocation, rejected it. Right. Because morally, he was of the view that this is not something that he should participate in. And I think that that is where we, the political class, regardless of the NDC and the MPP or whatever, should be looking. Yes, this investigation is ongoing. They will look at it. They will come up. If there's somebody who legally maybe has not completed his processes, just like how he tried to you know, deal with it in his time, but that will be at the fringes. Mm. That will not kill the thing at the heart of the issue, which is that people out there feel that we politicians are taking their land. Right. And in my view, it is an exercise that we have to embark on to tell ourselves that these things, we ought to take our hands from it. In the UK, and I don't quite recall the details, there was, um, I think, um, um, a travel expenses scandal where MPs were traveling. They were entitled to the monies that they were taking, but in many instances, it was seen as inappropriate. Massive resignations, 
you know, um, across board. Who I think took the money and never traveled. Yeah, so, uh, for those who took the money and never traveled, some, some I think, if I'm some right, resigned. 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 No, but some I think were jailed actually. Okay, yeah, okay. I get my point. Yeah, yeah. It is for me a moral question. We now, as politicians, have mm -hmm. to stop this legal argument and now answer the moral question that people are asking: that do you really want to be seen to be tapping into these things? These are not the reasons for which we have come for political power. Yeah. And if President Akufuado, in his day, when he was a minister, found it, Experience. found reason in it, yeah. rejected it, I think it's a direction, it's a lesson for all of us to follow. And I make this comment, taking out, for example, like the former heads of state who had you know, allocations as part of uh, their uh, um, 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 official exercise. Because that, in my view, appears to be part of their uh, official use, uh, even though the purpose may have changed. It appears mm -hmm. to be that. But apart from that, I think that politicians stay off let the enterprise. If it is somebody's private land, and that's why I agree with my brother, if it's somebody's private land, it's not one of the state lands, and you have gone to buy it in a prime area, you paid cost for it, that's, that's a different matter. matter. <coughs> but these state lands that are being reallocated, we should take our hands off it. Kweku, and again, part of the people within the Ga areas, this is their anger. When the land is being compulsorily taken away from them, go and check some of the figures, the amount of money that is paid to them as compensation for taking the land. And when you do not have use of the land for the, for the public good purpose, in the Jake uh, case where Justice Atuguba dissented, you could hear him loud and clear. If we need a hospital to be built, these are the lands that we should be using for these purposes and not for people who already can afford to have and are taking more. Well, the, the, the agitations that may come, because of some of these stories from the original owners. Yes, but... Uh, Have we thought about that? Just as uh, Tuguba, let me deal with a mm, small one. Mm. Uh, he dissented, you mean, the first, the mm. original bench, isn't it? That's right, that's right. But the review, yeah. he was on the side of the majority. They were 11, it was 11-0. Zero. zero, yeah. Yeah, so uh, just, just to put... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. correct perspective, um, I think. Uh, the review didn't dis determine the legality of the sale. The review determined whether or not there was a, a case for review. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have the judgment here. Okay. When I get time, I'll point to you okay. that it went beyond that. Okay. <coughs> uh, see, you see, in a way, I'm angry with this whole matter. Quite excited but also disappointed. Angry, excited, disappointed. It's, yeah. it's, it's a mixture of emotions. 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 It's, it's almost an explosive mix. <laughs> See, these are politicians, these ministers. Mm. They don't learn. And they don't take their time to study the situation. Both the minister for lands, the incumbent, and my good friend, somebody I respect hugely, I have to be honest with you, because of his honesty and sincerity. I think both got it You right. are referring to Unis of Saint. Yes. Mm. You see, the crudity of our, the partisanship of our politics is part of this problem. That's it, exactly. It's so crude. It's not exactly. The description of that whole process as Kelly Willy and my brother too says Toffee. It's a, it's a, put together. Rebata. Crudity. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's Rebata. Yeah. Mr. Mewu, I'm wondering. When he saw the list, did he look at it seriously? The little, the people. Even the name Kufo there, mm. and the Jerry Rollins one, I'll come to all those. Yeah. Didn't it strike him that, hey, let me take time, look at this list carefully, and see what is going on? Did he see Jake's name there? There. Yeah. Is he aware that Jake's case went to court? Is he aware? that uh, Jake's case, in actual fact, it began 2008. The final verdict, which was a review verdict, was 2013. Mm. Four years now. Determined by a court. So perhaps you ought to ex take it out of that contest of Kelly Willie. Mm. Madame Georgina Wood, her case came up, that was 2008 it's allocation. Right. Yeah. Mm. Then 2009, all the hula balu, this attempt to play on the keyboards of Ghana, that mm. means all a very heterocentric dimension was brought to bear. That's when Kufo's office allocation became a, a, an issue. A, an an issue. issue. Yeah. And he was driven out of the place, literally. He was told to go to Kumasi and look for an office, if you recall. Mm. We're playing ethnocentric politics with these things. That's what I mean by the crudity. When we can focus on the substance and some has happened here. We've looked at substance. You are mm. asking questions, value, procedures. Look at those things. 
And people like Georgina who said, I did not apply. She was made an offer. Offer. She accepted the offer. offer. Made some payments. Payment. It became yeah. controversial. I have all and the declares here. And so the, then the government policy led to a redrawal of that offer. Yes. So she also wrote to demand her money. Money. Which was sent to her. All this ended 2010. So why so what are their names name? doing in the list? Yes! yes. It's an old list. That's exactly what I'm saying. Go, go, come in. Come in, in fairness yeah. to the minister, he says that he has a long list and he's asking them to review. I haven't heard the minister go through that list. Let me be honest. What I've heard is a media house saying that it has also seen that list and begin to put The minister the actually mm -hmm. virtually said what you are saying because mm -hmm. he actually said that there's a committee working on it yes. and a report to be submitted. Yes. If mm -hmm. the report is not ready, why go to town? Why discover? What, what, what is the aim? It is understood. What is the minister's motive? It and is what understood. is his aim? Mm. It is understood. But so that now we have him, started discussing it all over the place. Yes. Kelole versus Toffee. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. yes, Kuku, continue. Yeah. Who wins? Mm. I mean, incredible. It's the same way these same politicians handle this uh, S. Grashua thing. Mm -hmm. They put it in the streets where they know they will never win. win. The masses will win. And then it, it turns around the against them yeah. consistently. Yeah. So we don't invite people to think deeply about these issues. That's what we've been doing. So to be honest with you, I don't think the minister handled it well. If it's the media that is doing his work, that's a different matter. If the media comes to you with some report, you say, okay, I'm studying it, we'll come back later. But you don't throw in this Kelewele stuff so that you invite Fusini to come in with Toffee. Now it's a distortion we are discussing in the Nobody's making sense. Mm. We have thrown out their emotions. And that's the kind of discourse we want. No way. That was what was intended for. We don't for. learn. That's the same thing you guys did. Yes. We don't learn. Mm. That's what I mean. Yeah. We don't learn the lessons of history. Look, this cantonment, I've lived in Laboni ah. since 1959. <laughs> ah. Okay? And I have to be honest with you. Go back from then and come today. Why do you think Laboni, Kanda, Ringway Estate was dominated by the Nkrumah ministers and CPP party functionaries? So this it has a history, it's a phenomenon. In recent years, it, from 1995, the NDC government launched something they call the Redevelop yeah, yeah. redevelopment yeah. scheme. Yeah. In Laboni there, those were the especially the justices were living. Look, it's a small building on a huge plot, yes. waste of, of space. Initially, when these things were being done, some of us, including others, all thought, no, 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 this is not good. But gradually, when the philosophy was explained, the rationale, you realize that it makes sense that this small uh, uh, building on a huge plot is not economical. The state itself is losing a lot. So the idea was to redevelop, do some infilling, All right. put more buildings there. Some must be high rising so you can accommodate public servants and things. The, mid, the Lands Commission held a press conference when all this he, he, he began under the Mills administration. The mm -hmm. This is just some of the things they said. Let me just read that. Mm -hmm. The redevelopment schemes. And this, re was, this is when? This is 2009, okay. August. The redevelopment schemes involve the redevelopment of government bungalow sites, subject to the relocation of the occupants of the bungalows. The process involved allocation of portions of the old bungalow sites at open market prices to raise capital to build the replacement bungalows. The underlying principles were A, to increase the density of development, whilst at the same time maintaining the character of the neighborhood as a first class residential area. Two, to increase and modernize the stock of government bungalows. And three, to improve the urban landscape. The redevelopment scheme was first piloted in cantonments. That's where I live. Mm. I've only cantonments yeah, are sometimes yeah. interchangeable. Mm. In 1995, by SNET, where nine bungalows were demolished, and in their place, 67 new houses were built. Mm. Okay? Four bungalows were demolished at 7th Avenue Extension Ridge. And in their place, 12 bungalows were built. Three mm. bungalows were demolished at the site where the Japan Embassy has been developed as Switchback Road. And in the process, were used to construct eight new bungalows. There are areas there near the Ghana International yeah. School. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah, the yeah, high yeah, yeah, It's public yeah, service. Yeah. So yeah. It, it makes sense. 
to actually undertake the this, redevelopment, uh, redevelopment scheme yeah. and the infilling yeah. thing. It's, it makes sense. Mm. But in practice? It, it is how we have... I'm saying that's why I said you, you focus on those aspects. For instance, though, and don't forget, you see, I, I, I've asked myself, uh, the political elite, are they disqualified from being beneficiaries of any such exercise? No. Can we say so? No. Yes, I don't think so. So we, let's look not at just the beneficiaries, because the benef list of beneficiaries, we have private businessmen, yeah. private com uh, sector companies, yeah. foreign missions, yeah. uh, it's Ghana is and all the rest, Jeez. Jeez. So there's Probably a long Jeez. list. Now, are we going to say Probably that because the, the political elite campaign win elections and come into office, we should disqualify them? Let's have that discussion, if we want to take them out. If they must qualify, how do they qualify? You see, the transparency of the process, the values that come, come with their locations are areas we should target. I'm totally with it. And some are ridiculous. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. And so we should look at that the, the thing from that perspective and attack it and actually improve on it. But look, you can't leave those huge territories there, the land, the plots, the way they are. I say, as a kid, I grew up in that area. Mm. You go to one Jesse so and so's house. Look, it's a building just in the middle, and the rest is forest. And we used to play there. We'd go yeah. looking for a Lukuto and mm -hmm. all those things, play around. We love the environment. Right. But you can preserve it. You can preserve the greens. Whilst you get more buildings, the state itself gains. The, the companies and the individuals and the machines and things, they pay something. Right. So it's another source of revenue mobilization. That is, if it's done properly, in right. an accountable and transparent manner. manner. Mm. Otherwise, look, they will be sitting there that way, and in natural fact, that becomes a drain. Mm. Even maintenance of those old buildings becomes costly. Right. So let's get the philosophy right and accept that this idea is a good idea. Perhaps we have abused it. Why, how come we abused it? You can identify those processes that show that we've abused it, mm. nip them in the bud. If there were those who uh, criminally perpetrated it, deal with them. Separate, is it the wheat from the shaft? Yeah. Yeah. Don't say that to them. That's the way we should approach it. Mm. But if you the have, you, you have, you have a, a, a sitting minister and a former minister, Engaged in this battle, the way it's done, we are all then invited to go in that realm. Nobody will be able to solve the problem. So we may recycling. This thing is the resurrection of a dead issue mm. in a sense. We are recycling the way and manner we've been debating it. Even in Professor Mills' time, we heard there was a ban. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is what he uh, you see, you, see. you refer to, mm. is that your band, mm. Professor Mills' time? No, no, no. 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 Brother, this is a this new is, one. This, the old official, Kufour's team, mm. uh, President Kufour and President Rawlings. Yeah. I had a little problem with the President Rawlings aspect. But I said, look, let it go. Because you see, he had initially benefited at the Green Street with all the office allocation, residential allocation. Under Mahama's administration, they decided to give him another thing, this time, specifically for some foundation yes. that he was. So I said, fine. After all, he's not going to use it for his personal side. And it's a former head of state. Please, uh, uh, prepare to uh, concede that he needs to have that concession. So this is given. President Kufos was also advertised. Mm. It became a public issue. We discussed it yeah. here. So mm. why would the minister not appraise it's himself so with that? I don't understand it. Okay. Look, Small I'm point. telling you, we should be serious in this country. You mm. see, this blow man approach, mm. huh? Tarzan uh, or Santana in town Much approach, approach must stop. It doesn't matter which minister is. Said, so, so, so what do you, what do you say? What do you say the purpose <laughs> of the investigation he's talking about by the committee will achieve in the end? That's why I said if there are areas that evidence should have been, uh, process Abuse. has been abused, mm. procedure has been abused. There are laws guiding these things. Mm. The State uh, Lands Act, mm. 1962, mm. and mm. the uh, land mm. regulations, mm. Uh, is it 62 too? Mm. Yes, I brought all, them, all of them. There, so there are procedures, there are there's a legal regime. Mm. Let's deal with it that way. He ought not to have gone to town talking of Kelly Willey. Right. Something if I may have a so obviously, could you, be, as you, you respond to him, case. unless there is a special case, but the but point of the committee is 
it is, is, it's moot, really. No, no. Well, so, so um, let me. Okay, we we'll just finish now. You see, uh, the last time I was on the show, mm. I think there was an issue of mass lock that came up. Okay. And we agreed on this point. I don't know if you recall. Sure. That this thing about accusation, counter accusation, when investigations mm. are being done, we should curtail it. But again, let's be fair to the claim. Yeah, but we have the media trials all the time. No, 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 no. It is not really the media. media. Okay. It's not and, the media. And I think on that day, we made that you know, yeah. um, um, distinction. Like if, if the media is going to find something and yeah. on their own, you can't stop them. they decide to fly. You can't stop them. But often the case is that it is government officials who give the uh, uh, information out and we begin to matter. discuss it. In this particular instance, from, from, from the clip we just watched, mm. it appears they had a program and somebody asks him a follow-up question. No, Latif, Latif did a, a, a documentary we about land, on land guards land, land and how they are terrorizing don't people. Don't worry. And then he went to, to submit the, his findings to the minister yes. so that he will take some action. Yes. I'm sure you are aware that there's a committee that's been set up yes. by the president to and deal with land guards. the minister in his comments goes mm. further to say, for example, I have this list of X and I've given it to a committee, a committee. to look into. Right. Yes, he makes a comment about Kelly Willie, etc., mm. which Kuku complains about. Mm. And it's fair to put it in that context. But you see, this is not a case as though the minister has come on TV and radio and is litigating these matters on TV and radio. No. So I think we can put it in that context. And the caution is well taken. But the substantive point that is being made is that if these investigations are done and something negative has happened, that one can be dealt with separately. Yeah. But there but must be a reason number one for the investigation. Well, but you heard the former minister tell you that, and even Kuku has problems with the values. Crudity with which <laughs> even the statistics look. He says the rate. Mm. He says the rate at which it's going looks like Kelly Willie. He says the rate at which it's going and the fact that some people have not... So I think, in essence, everybody is literally talking about the fact that on the face, mm. when you see the initial statistics, yeah. it will hit you. You will be shocked. You either freeze mm. in his case or you yeah. give to a committee or whatever. But I think the argument we are making is that none of this temporary freezes or committee works substantively mm. addresses it. That's right. What we need to do is to look at the gap between the policy as articulated. Why are we doing this, mm. uh, 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 this land redevelopment, redevelopment exercises? And in practice, because there's a lot of it that is going well, mm. but yeah. in practice, yeah, yeah, good. yes, good. in practice, there are parts too that are, you know, giving the dog a bad name. That part is what I think needs to be tackled and dealt with. Thank you. Um, um, what I was just saying, so I, I think that seconds, 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 then we move. Yeah, I mean, we'll the first, my first reaction, you mm. see that, no, I never even went to town with the minister. I agreed to some extent that, look, you need to do things about this. Mm. But... When subsequently like, they played the Kelly Willis, now you're just shocked. <laughs> because you need to understand. You, actually, you need to understand it. To be honest, that was a bad I, I can't sit here and mention the name of chiefs. I can't sit here and mention the name of Look, prominent public brother, servants. This list from 1992. I can't from sit here. Mm. I can't sit here. Print, they are here. They are there. Men, small men. <laughs> <laughs> Big businesses, Former MPP small chairman. businesses. Mm. They're here. They're all here. here. But what, what? you saying that he also started okay. No, what that I'm that saying is, yes. 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 Oh. No, you no, see, no, you, 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 don't pay attention. You, you, <laughs> you, officers. you did the, the, period, the period you were doing the morning show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these things came up. And I'm saying that if you remember the CJA yeah. Yeah. No, I recall. The Committee for Joint Action. I recall all the publication. And the NDC fed on it heavily. Yes. I recall all of that. But my point is, the next step. Okay, That's right. what yes. Some of the we are taking a break, so do it quickly. Mm. Is that some of these lines the state has not even paid the appropriate compensation? Right. Yes, to the exactly. original owner. You see, no, no, but wait, why, but wait. Okay, we are uh, talking uh, compensation. Yeah. compensation. The other aspect people forget. The lands that were compulsorily applied before the constitution came to be are not supposed necessarily yeah. to go back yes. to the original. Yeah, even, 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 even when it's the constitution was applied, yes. 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 because I'll 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 land, land law, the original title of the owners is extinguished. I agree. Ah, interesting. But, but the anger of the people that we speak of it stems from the fact that the original owners, those that were acquired before '92, before the, the, the onset of the fourth Republican constitution, can only take their compensation. They yeah. can't get yeah. their land back. Okay, okay. you're right. You understand. Yeah. Right. So that is where the anger is. But you so see, you, right you, right see you talk about, you talk about, the, yeah. Yeah. you talk about you that, the anger, and I tie it, it in in the need to be very careful in the way these matters are spoken Thank about you. Yes. Yes. because Thank it you. angers it the, the indigents yes. and we know that many of them have gone to court over the Thank period, you. particularly with, uh, with uh, senior bright equity yes. leading See, them. Let me tell you something. Right. 
come to Laboni and Cantonments. Mm. Mm. You get up in the morning, and then there is this. Right on the wall. Yes, there, families yeah, yeah, who yeah. are yeah. coming. Uh, no? uh, yes, uh, 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 this yeah. Keep up. Keep up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, they are taking it back. All sorts of things. They what and what. And we come to the family. All right. They may form. They may form militias. Come and come. That's always exactly the issue of land guns. Uh, some of them yeah. have had the opportunity to go back to lands that were proper, uh, properly compulsorily acquired, yes. and they and stayed on. And they stayed on those lands for quite a while, yeah. and it was being taken away from them again. Trouble. And go check how much they were being paid. Right. And they feel you can tell the yeah, anger yeah. literally yeah. when you get to deal with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's now, now, <clears throat> um, Clement, thank you very much. Uh, Clement is a law teacher, and he says that. <clears throat> On the case of review, <coughs> that's uh, the Sam Sam Ablakwa and uh, Omani versus uh, Jacob Um He says that on the case of review, Atiguba joined the majority solely. The emphasis is solely, solely on the issue of jurisdiction yeah. and the approach for invoking the court's jurisdiction for review. Room. That's what I said. Yeah. His dissent in the substantive decision still holds. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, exactly. There's really no debate I, I, about I, I that. No, no, that's, there's that, really that no debate it. about that. Yes, yeah. thank you very mm. much. Mm. We take a quick break here. When we return, we we have uh, the bomb to deal with, but we'll start with the the former president and Baumia and dovetail it into the Ooh. the bond issue. We'll be right back. Mm.